What's up guys? Want to give another follow-up video to yesterday's video about um, GameStop and other stocks that were basically restricted uh, on platforms such as Robinhood. So this video I want to talk specifically about Robinhood. You know, are they done? There was actually a class action lawsuit filed yesterday uh, in the Southern District of New York. Uh, and today is January 29th, so that would have made it January 28th. The lawsuit claims Robinhood manipulated the market for the benefit of people and financial institutions who are not Robinhood customers. So basically, this lawsuit's claiming that Robinhood was giving um, user data to big financial firms, hedge funds, to help them manipulate the stock market. Um, Robinhood restricted trading on the 28th citing recent volatility stocks included shares of GameStop, amc bed bath beyond nokia naked brands um robin has one td ameritrade also did it and maybe a couple other ones um as of right now you can buy them uh robin hood announced um information and you're able to buy them again uh, however you're not allowed to um short them or do margin calls on them. Um, so going back to this whole situation, uh, these stocks went up, GameStop, AMC, etc., uh, in in price very quickly due to a Reddit group called uh, Wall Street Bets. Now I'm not a member of this group; never heard of it till uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, they are a very popular group among investors, and they despise the Wall Street elite for the financial system they have set into place which led to the 2008 uh, financial crisis. So um, a lot of the members here or in that group uh, has been reported that they're millennials, Gen Zers, so the younger uh, generations, and they all saw their parents you know, lose jobs, lose houses, lose pensions, uh, 401ks, money basically in 2008. So for them, this is sort of a revenge to get back at the Main Street, Wall Street people that made a lot of money that created that system where it just collapsed. Um, so as far as to get back to them, before they raised or before they started buying these shares of stock in these companies, uh, big Wall Street hedge funds were shorting these stocks, meaning that people were betting, that they were betting, sorry, for the stock price value to drop. If it dropped, they made a good amount of money. So by regular people buying shares of these stocks, the price rose, GameStop as such, uh, which caused a short squeeze. In turn, it costs big Wall Street and hedge funds to lose billions of dollars. Um, going back to this lawsuit, what it claims is that it Robinhood restricted these stocks, meaning that you couldn't uh, buy these stocks anymore. So it, bri it deprived retail investors or potentials. Of making uh, gains of profits, basically. So basically, it, was, it wasn't allowed you to buy a Robinhood um, anymore. Of these of these stocks that kept on going up, they they stopped uh, letting you buy it. You can sell it, but you couldn't buy it. Um, so that's basically the gist of the lawsuit. Now, a few things, and I have my notes here. So let me scroll down here. So I mean, is Robinhood done in terms of like this big lawsuit coming out? It's a class action, actually. So uh, or are they in trouble? Now, if you look up the Robinhood user agreement, and I'll put a link down below to that, meaning anytime you sign up for an account, even if you don't put any money on, you sign up for an account, uh, number one, it's in there. Uh, basically, as a Robinhood investor, you waive your right to sue, and all claims are actually litigated through arbitration in California. All right, so that's something to, uh, and, and I'm not sure about the other trading platforms, I assume they have something like that in play too. Uh, two, uh, the second thing that's related to this lawsuit is, I'm going to read the exact actual text in the in the user agreement. I understand that Robinhood may at any time, at its sole discretion and without prior notice to me, prohibit or restrict my access to use the app or the website or related services, my ability to trade, refuse to accept any of my transactions, refuse to execute any of my transactions, or terminate my account. So according to the lawsuit, you know, Robinhood restricted uh, trading on this particular, on certain stocks. So user agreement, you signed up for it. It's, it's, I'm not a lawyer. Trust me, I'm not even close to being any type of 
legal uh, advice, but that's what it says in user agreement. Um, to me, reading that, my opinion, it seems like the lawsuit really doesn't have that much merit in a sense. I know a lot of people are pissed off at it. I totally understand. Um, it's your money, and, and if you want to invest in a company that's going up in price, you know, more than welcome to. So uh, I'll put a link to that user agreement down below. And if you are a member of Robinhood, uh, it, it's on their website or uh, maybe through the app. Um, now, I think the bigger question is if the government's going to step in and do anything about it. I reported yesterday that SEC, which monitors uh, the stock market and financial institutions, um, they were looking or keeping an eye on it. And so was basically the White House. Um, a couple of members of Congress came out. So Representative AOC, she's a Democrat of New York, and she's also a member of the House Financial Services Committee. This is her exact tweet. She said, this is unacceptable. We need to know more about Robinhood's app's decision to block retail investors from purchasing stock while hedge funds are freely able to trade the stock as they see fit. As a member of the Financial Services Committee, I support hearing if necessary. Now, she's a Democrat. On the other side, Senator Ted Cruz from Texas. He's a Republican. He he uh, commented, fully agree. So it seems like both sides of, of the political parties are, are on investigating this type of stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Um, I know Robin has been sued in the past. I'm not sure for what. Uh, I didn't do my research on that. Uh, but I think that it was a separate uh, incident and a whole separate issue, I, from my understanding. But I could be wrong. So... Um, just a quick little update, you know, in my opinion, I don't think Robin has done. I think, um, it may ch certain things may change. Um, do I use Robin personally? Yes, I do. Now, what I don't buy on Robin is crypto. Crypto is a whole different, I'll probably do another video reason why not to buy crypto on Robin hood. Uh, however, stock, uh, I do have some, some stocks on there. I use multiple platforms, uh, and, uh, Robin has just come to light cause it's a lawsuit. Uh, along with uh, GameStop, and I did not check. Actually, let's check now. So it's Thursday, or sorry, Friday. Well, 29th, 2:30 p.m. on the West Coast. So let's see where GameStop's at. And like I said, you are able to trade now on um, um, Robinhood, GameStop. So GameStop today. Is up 70%, all right? It is currently $317. So it's definitely interesting. Um, it seems like this the Wall Street Bets group, they're not going <laughs> to sell the position, apparently. So they keep those stock high. Uh, you know, my opinion is just GameStop is, is, unless they do something drastically to change their business, uh, they seem on the, they're on the verge of going out of business. It's just funny how you look at any uh, uh, analyst's uh, ratings of the game stock uh, GameStop stock they'll tell you it's way overvalued right now because of the price so uh, interesting uh, however uh, I duly suggest you know if you have a financial planner advisor professional talk with them again this is my opinion reporting this uh, lawsuit just came out I thought it was interesting to let you guys know so hey if you guys are new to my channel appreciate if you guys hit the subscribe button uh, if bringing content like this every week I appreciate uh, the, the new followers I, I've been getting. So definitely appreciate you guys. Um, if you have any comments, questions, drop them down below. I'll try to uh, answer them as best I can or direct you where you may see them. Uh, again, um, I'll put Robin Hood's uh, user agreement, um, a link to that. It's a PDF uh, down below. So thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, peace.